Hello. Would you like to help us today? Excellent. Well, I'm from the Office of Semantics. We're here, hopefully helping some people who are unstuck in time. Hi, um, my name is This Is One. I am the I'm, head I'm digital your, your archivist of this beautiful library. I'm stressed out of my mind. Let me explain. So libraries are full of stories. We use the technical term, they have a great semantic weight. And sometimes when people come into the library at a particularly crucial part of their own personal story, their story gets tangled up with the other stories that are already here in the library. It's 1972. That's archaic. Okay. Mum and Dad were like, Jamie, where the hell are you? Tomorrow, over a thousand people, they suspect, will flood through here. And because they're stuck in their own story, they become disconnected from the normal flow of time and they can show up anywhere in the history of the library. I'm gathering as many stories as many people's experiences about the library. And if one was a dishonest man, which of course I'm not at all a dishonest man, that would be ridiculous. Hello. My name is Joseph Reed. I designed this building. Can you help me? The only way you can influence their story and help them move on is by writing down suggestions or ideas or messages in special books that we've placed around the library. Now these are called focal point books. There's one for each of five different time zones. And that book exists in the now and in that time. And when you write in the book, the lost people who are unstuck in time will go and find those books, read the things that's written in them, and remember them. And those things will help their story move forward. We're in this mad rush to turn this library, in case the storm hits it and we lose everything, into digital form. I'm sitting here trying to figure out a new bloody trick and it's somewhat doing my head in. We can do it. If you show up, if you sign the book, we're going to change the world. I can see it. I have faith in you. You'll find that if you look at numbers, they will... The slightest inconsistency will give you the story. So if I ask you to think of a card, ultimately your choice will be affected by you and your story and everything that there is about you. I've lost most of my team to dengue fever. Information does have a way of, uh, of, of travelling. The truth will out, as it were. What happens then, we can never tell. It's exciting, though. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Can I help you? It is up to you how you influence the stories. You can use information that they give you when you talk to them. You can use information from one person who's lost to help someone else who's lost. Or you might just make it up based on what you think should happen in this story. But anyway, I hope you can help me move on. Thank you so much. I have to get back to work.